uh, allowing body art in order to put more bodies behind the state patrol cruisers. The Ohio State Highway Patrol is changing its policy to allow tattoos on troopers just as long as they're covered. As News 5's Bob Jones learned, OHP made the move, hoping it will get them rec to recruit more candidates. People are drawn to tattoos for many reasons. Some feel they look cool, others point to beauty or personal expression. But getting a tattoo was a potential barrier to landing a job as an Ohio State trooper, a barrier that OSP is now removing. An individual that couldn't apply yesterday can apply today and they can answer that call to service. That's because of a policy change announced by OSP. Prior to today, tattoos were not allowed in any of the uniforms. Now, arm tattoos are allowed as long as those are covered up by long sleeve shirts. Tattoos not covered, like on the neck or hands, are still not permitted. The tattoos might not be visible, but what, what is going to be very visible is the increase in you know diversity of the people that we have providing services. Sergeant Santiago says offering more diversity and broadening the pool of applicants is critical at a time when there are about 200 open positions for troopers across the state. I can tell you just in our region, just in our area, we have about we have uh, you know hundreds of individuals that expressed interest in wanting to become troopers that were restricted by the the previous uh, you know uniform uh, policy. While there is some question as to whether troopers would want to wear long sleeve shirts in the summer, national law enforcement expert Tim Dimoff says OSP, which is quasi military, is the latest agency to become more flexible when it comes to recruiting the current generation. Tattoos, uh, jewelry, beards, facial hair, that's all normal to them. And Dimoff says even though the trooper's tattoos may not be seen by the public, the change could help when interacting with them. It helps police officers blend better with society. Sergeant Santiago says the starting pay for a trooper is nearly 63 grand, and he hopes relaxing the rules on tattoos will help convince more men and women to ink more applications for the job. This is a life-changing uh, you know, opportunity, and when you apply. This is a way of life. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. And we know a staffing shortage is not a problem unique to Ohio State Police. The News 5 investigators have extensively covered the shortage of officers in Cleveland and part of our in part of their dangerously understaffed series. But tonight we're going in depth with a look at the national shortage of law enforcement officers. The Department of Justice cites a 2019 survey which found 86% of police agencies had a shortage of officers. Another survey from 2021 showed hiring in police agencies fell by 5%. Resignation and retirement rates increased by 18% and 45% respectively.